Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How's it going today? Today I'll be doing maybe another medieval building. I like drawing these little fairy tale buildings, so I'm going to draw another one. I kind of enjoy it. Uh, so to start off with, I'm going to do in pencil, just a light outline, just so I can get an idea of where things are going. These fairy tale buildings have always got these long, extended roofs. So let's go on across here. Mm, maybe let's have a side section. Here, we'll join that up. This to come down. Not really using many. I've got a full reference of maybe a rough idea of what I do, but I still like to try and make up some new stuff as I go along. And you never know when you're always trying to have one idea. Other ideas come into your mind as soon as you start drawing and get more involved with it. So, well, we'll see. Okay. Maybe I'll have this as the door. <coughs> Excuse me. And maybe there's some steps going down here. Maybe a little doorway there. I don't know. And again, I've lost my ruler. I don't know where I've put it. How come you're an artist without any freaking rulers? Never mind. Never mind. It's cool. Okay. Where to start? Start from the top working down is probably best. So let's do the keystone for the roof. Then I'm just going to do the top slates. Going across here. Maybe once with this side as well. This will probably extend to the other side, so let's do it there. Then some slates will come down this way. I'll do the rest of these in time lapse. I'm just showing you what I'm drawing. Ooh, it's looking a little small. Whoop. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, and the slates on this side will come right down here. So you can see, I'm going to follow the angle of that roof down. Where these two join as well. Okay, and then... Maybe let's do the side that's coming down there. Again, this is going to be like a little mini, miniature side roof here. With slates coming down. Just like so. Mm -hmm. I want to do some wooden, uh, this is going to be a wooden structure. So I'll bring this down to here. Let's do a little window sill. And then let's do a curved window going around. I'll have two wooden bits either side. Put a little edge on there. Let's have wooden slats across. Like so. There's going to be another roof starting just here. So there's going to be slates coming down this side. Lots and lots of slates, this one. And then following the slats going across here and for this window I might just do a cross design maybe let's do a little hanging basket here hmm 
<laughs> There's a little bit of greenery growing out of it. Give it a little bit of life. Could even do a weatherman up here. Weather man, there we go. Right, so as these slates come down to here, and these ones come down to here and here, so I'm just gonna do this is gonna be a nice solid wooden beam, and one here. And this is going to be the doorway, so I'll just curl round. Now do some another support beam across. Now let's do a few triangle ones, and then maybe a, a little stone number around here. We we'll have a double door. Some handles on, like so. Okay, um, ooh, do, 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 do. maybe let's do a huge window here. So, again, I'm just gonna do a window sill. Let's bring this all the way up and curl it up. It's looking a little wide, so I'm just going to thin it away, making like a wooden bit around it. Then we're going to put a circle at the top just to curl down. Again, following that pattern of the cross hatch across. So, and then we'll have this as the inside of that flowing archway on the this fancy little what do you call these little extensions? I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. Right, I uh, need this to stand on a wooden structure. So bring that around and bring this up. It's got mobile edges because it's quite a thick one. Let's add some triangle support beams. Maybe one across here. Then let's have another support beam going across the right near. Maybe let's have a cute little window here. Like so. <clears throat> I'll basically slit off in time lapse, you don't need to see that. It's just, cause it's just a simple pattern of just these little squares doing the little edge at the bottom. But remember, it's important just to keep the flow of the roof going down. That's why I've got this guide on the side. And you don't have to make these absolutely perfect. Because it's not a council house where everything has to be measured and everything. Although these were very, very skilled craftsmen and stuff. It is an old, weathered medieval house. Okay, um, so this is an extension as well. So I need, some, need to strengthen this bit up. Wooden beam there. Let's do another triangle fellow, triangle fellow, triangle fellow. Let's do a wee window here. Let's do a bit in the middle and across, a little bit inside. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, this uh, this bit is sticking out a bit, so I might just do a 
top beam goes down, one right there. This is where the roof continues. And just a thin line for the edge, like so. Let's do another window. Try and keep all the windows the same, just so it's easier to understand the pattern that I'm using. So it's just general cross hatching. Some more support beams. Okay, now I want this to sit on like a, a wood, uh, solid stone structure. These stairs out back. So this. So this is the top of the stairs here. Maybe let's do a little flower pot or something of that nature. And then start off with the edge stones. So this one's gonna be. Smaller, larger, smaller, larger, smaller, larger. Then the opposite. On this side, and I've just made a mistake, never mind, it's okay, it's cool. That one's smaller, that one's larger. Like so. Okay, it's not going to be absolutely neat and tidy around here, so. Let's do spare wheel for a carriage. Like so. Hmm, what else can we do? Maybe a burlap sack. Maybe a tool hanging up as well. And then for the stone, just do one line going across first. And I'm just going to do irregular shaped stones, fill that in. Not join up too much, just to get the illusion that they're on some sort of mortar or something. Just like so. And then the steps. Come down here. Like so. I've got this fancy archway, so I need a keystone at the top. Then I need to curl these stones round. Because how the keystone works is that the pressure from either side of the wall comes together and the keystone holds those together to stop them fighting. These kind of bridges are expensive. Okay, so stones, stones. Okay, this be an archway. What can I put in it? Let's have some barrels. Maybe let's do a lid there. I don't know, maybe a tool there. Well, the stonework is going to continue underneath here. I don't think there's much else in the way of identifying different parts of it. What else can I do? I need something else. Hmm. Maybe let's do a clover logo at the top. Maybe one here. Just little holes. Um I need something. I don't know. I might think of something like that.
Okay, so I'm going to finish off the rest of these details. Just little niggly bits like the slates and stuff like that. And anything that's new, I'll explain it afterwards. Okay, so I'm pretty much all finished now. I've just gone over and darkened a few edges at the bottom here just to emphasize more precisely some of the areas, especially underneath some of the sections. So, just underneath here, underneath the arch, and underneath all the different section stuff. And just gone and feathered some lines, just going downwards, just to emphasize the shape. I'm doing any across or anything like that just because it's a straight down vertical shape and I want to keep the lines exactly the same. Just like so. So yes, yeah, this has been another medieval drawer and building of a little house. This one's a little different than the last ones I do. The last ones I did. Uh, here and here. And now this one. So I've got a nice little collection going. Okay, anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. I'll be back with another video quite soon. Goodbye. Oh